Hi honeybees, today I'm going to be doing a full demo as well as a review of the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation today and I'm going to be giving you my full review. I'm also going to be using a few new Tarte products at least to me, including their mattifying primer, the poreless mattifying primer, which I can definitely need, especially as it gets hotter here in Arizona. This is what the bottle looks like. Very pretty, actually. I love the packaging. So this is supposed to fill in your pores, mattify you all day, and this foundation is a little bit more of a satin look to it. It's very natural on the skin. Um, it gives a little bit of dewiness, and I can tend to get a little oilier with this over the span of the day as I wear it for 8 to 10 hours. So we're going to start off with this primer today. I'm just going to put a little bit. I did already clean my fingers, but I am going to use my fingers. It is like a clear gel consistency, which I do really like. And I'm kind of pressing it in to my skin, not really rubbing. More pressing. And I am focusing on the center of my face because that is where I have a larger pore size. I need a little bit more for my chin. It's where you can see my pores a little bit more prominently with foundation. This is a very like slippery feel to this primer. I am putting it below my nose here too because that's where my foundation tends to wear away throughout the day, especially if it's hot out. Yeah, I already need to make a wipe. I always have baby wipes on hand to wipe my hands clean. Alright, so next we're going to go in with the foundation. Like I said, I'm using the Clay Stick Foundation. I am in the shade Fair Neutral, which is the same shade I am in in the, the other foundation. I'll insert it right here. I can't think of the name right now all of a sudden. Okay, so you do get a fair bit of product. I've used this about three times so far. You can see it's a very similar um, amount of product to the other stick foundations I have. So I do feel this foundation is more of a medium coverage, however you can. I'm going to look crazy for a second, I got my war paint on. Um, you can build it up very easily though to more of a full coverage. So I'm just spraying this, this is a blender from Tarte as well. It's a little more dense than the Beauty Blender, but it does a really good job. I like the rounded end to buff in my foundation. So you could use a brush. But I just generally prefer a sponge. I feel like it looks the most natural on my skin. I don't get any streaking when I use a sponge. So hopefully you can see this is giving me a fair amount of coverage. Um, it is more of a natural look at the moment. I am going to add just a little bit more in some areas that I have more redness. I love this foundation for my more like everyday natural wear days. Not necessarily one I wear when I film because I like like a super full coverage look then. So I'm going to actually zoom in so you guys can see that you can still see some pigmentation on my skin where I have a little bit more discoloration. So let me go ahead and zoom in. It's a little scary, so zoomed in. I obviously don't have concealer on yet. <laughs> that will improve the under eye. But you can see I do have a little bit of discoloration right here that needs to be covered a little more. And I have not really a scar, but there's some discoloration right here from a little friend that I had there recently. I usually would just use concealer, but I am going to show you how you can get a little more coverage with this. So I am applying just a little more. Don't want to put too much under my eyes though because I will use concealer. But I just want to show you how this does build pretty dang well. I am going to end up using shape tape which gives me a lot of coverage too. Do you see how that did definitely build up there? Sometimes when I'm too far away the lighting really affects how much you can see the coverage so hopefully this helps a little. You could use this as concealer even too. I have on my more natural days and it did not cake up on me. I do set my foundations always though. Alright, do you see that definitely did build up coverage? 
I'm looking in the viewfinder, sorry if that's annoying. All right, so that's as much as I'm gonna put on, but as you can see, it is definitely buildable, so if you wanted even more fuller coverage than this, then you could. Even though I do build this up a little bit on my skin, I don't feel that it's overly heavy. Stick foundations can kind of sometimes feel a little bit more heavy on the skin. And I really love the Hourglass one, but that one can tend to get a bit heavier as, as I'm adding coverage, whereas I don't feel that way with this one. All right, so let me zoom back out and we'll get some concealer on. I am using the Shape Tape in this, in the, I almost said the scent, in the shade Fair. All right, so here is the full coverage look with the Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes. I am gonna go ahead and use the Rainforest of the Sea Filtered Light Setting Powder. This is what it looks like. So the reason I really do like this to set my entire face is because it does have a slight coloring to it. It's not completely white, so I don't feel like it gives me that whitish look to my face. It does not have a flashback either, so I think it looks great in photos that I'm taking on Snapchat or anything like that, and also on camera. So I am just taking a fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques. I'll link it down below. I don't know the actual name. And I'm just going ahead and setting my entire face. So that's it for my full face without, you know, going into the bronzer, highlight, blush, all that jazz. I'm going to actually go ahead and do that off camera. And if you want to see the look after it's all done, I am going to film that as well for a tutorial for this week. And I also am going to set my face with the Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. You guys, I have been loving this from Tarte. Um, this, by the way, this is not sponsored whatsoever. I just really am loving trying out their products lately. It has a very like soft cucumbery scent to it, like a minty cucumber. And I am gonna use this at the very end of doing my makeup to kind of set everything in, lock it in, and give it a little bit of radiance. All right guys, so I just filmed this full face of makeup. I pretty much used all Tarte makeup and this unicorn inspired eye look is super simple to do. I wore it in my Ulta haul recently, I feel like it was. It was one of my recent hauls and so many of you asked me to do a tutorial so I decided to do a get ready with me today using that. But okay, let's talk about this foundation stick really quick. Packaging, I think it is really nice and sleek. It has like a little bubble here on the top that kind of like almost looks like a wood grain. Really pretty. I feel like you do get a decent amount of product for it being a stick foundation. Like I said before, it is more of like a satin finish. It does lean a little bit more dewy throughout the day. Initially, it is a bit more matte on me, especially when I combine it with the Matte and Poreless Primer, the Mattifying Primer from Tarte. Really, really great. I like these together, especially if you're oily skin type. I really suggest using a mattifying primer with this foundation. I really do enjoy it more with a beauty sponge, like I said before. However, I have tried it with a flat top kabuki brush and it did blend into the skin very easily as well. First application is going to be a little bit more of a medium coverage, like sheer medium, very natural look on the skin. If you want to build it up, like I showed you on the tutorial, very easy to build up, not very heavy, which is great as well. One thing that I do wanna mention though with this foundation is the wear time. So for me, it does wear very well on Days where I'm just running some errands, just, you know, maybe around the house doing some things. I'm not exerting too much energy where I'd be sweating a lot. I do not feel like this is waterproof. I do not suggest using this when you're going to be outside all day and sweating um, because it did start to wear off around, like, my upper lip here and on the side of my face just a little bit because this is such a good foundation match to me, though. It wasn't very apparent, so I wasn't that mad at it. But if you're looking for something that's gonna last through really hot weather, this might not be it. I would probably go with the Amazonian Clay um, foundation that Tarte has, because that one is bulletproof. Now this is also formulated without harsh chemicals, parabens, sulfates, which I really appreciate in a foundation, because this is hitting your skin all day long. You don't want something that's gonna irritate your skin or have harsh chemicals in it. Um, it also is formulated with properties, with Amazonian clay properties, so you are going to help to reduce redness and a little bit more natural. It's doing something for my skin instead of just sitting there 
and being a foundation. So I do appreciate that as well. Poreless primer is really nice. I, this is the second time I've used this. It does have a bit more of a slip than I usually like in a primer, and I'm always worried about that. Like those tend to make me get oily faster. Haven't had that issue so far with this. However, I do suggest you're patting it into the skin or it may ball up on you. I haven't had that issue since I've really only been using it with the stick foundation. Um, but just really, any kind of pore filling primer, you really wanna just kind of press it into the skin and it works really well. You guys already know I love Shape Tape. It's holy grail status, absolutely love it. Just really suggest if you're starting out using this, it's very high coverage, you don't need very much. And if you use too much, it can get cakey under the eyes, so just be very wary of that. And the last product that I used today that was kind of newer for me is the Filtered Light Powder. So far, I am really enjoying this. I think it gives a really nice, smooth finish to my skin. It doesn't have a white cast, which is always great too. I like that it has a slight tint to it. I like this more for setting my whole face though, not so much my under eye. I don't feel like it brightens very much, so not something I would continually use to set my under eye, but for my entire face, I do really enjoy it. So if you guys have any questions regarding any of the products I used today, please go ahead and feel free to leave those comments down below. Please give this a thumbs up if you want me to do more foundation reviews or just reviews in general if you enjoy them. That really helps me to know if I should continue doing videos like this. So please go ahead and do that. And if you are new, subscribe and also hit that bell icon to be sure to be notified for new videos. I make beauty videos Wednesdays and Fridays and then Sundays I do a weekly vlog. So I hope you'll stick around and thank you so much everyone for all your support and love and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.